Well, good morning. It's a very brisk winter's morning here. I'm at the Kedrid Book Wetlands Reserve. This is normally not the place that I'd come for sunrise. I'd come here to photograph birds. I just want to shoot sunrise here. I haven't done a sunrise for so long. And look at the scene that's in front of me here. It's very plain. I've got this little tuft of grass here in the lagoon. I've just got an egret that just landed just in front of me here. This morning I want to show you that you don't have to go out to great places. Sometimes someplace very local can get you some great sunrise shots. You just have to think outside the square. And that's what I'm doing this morning. I'm challenging myself. Never been here for a sunrise. I've only been here once around eight o'clock in the morning. This is new to me. Look at this tuft of grass here. It's very nice. Now the way I framed it is that just like in the video here, I've got a bit of the foreground and there's like a little culvert here. Now this morning, I'm not using my D500. I'm using the Nikon Z62 with the Nikon F-mount lens 24 to 85. And I'm on about 60 millimeters, but I framed it so I've got just this little culvert just in the bottom here with two tufts of grass on the side and this little island here of tall grass just there. All I've got on there is a polarizer and a three-stop medium grad just to slow down the water a bit. I'm on ISO 50, take a shot. Now I've got a two second timer delay on here. Wow, look at that. This is so nice. Now the reason I don't want to put an ND filter also is I don't want too much of a slow shutter speed. There's a bit of breeze around. I'm just trying to stop a lot of these ripples. Not totally because if I go down let's say to a six stop or a ten stop really the breeze here is just going to make all these reeds here just blur too much. I just want to smooth the water out just a little bit. Now I'm on f11 and my shutter speed was 0.3 of a second. Now I'm just going to move slightly and just see what the other composition would look like. It's always good to try another one. I'm just going to move the tripod a little bit here so you can see my point of view has changed. Now I have this nice little culvert here right in the center and we're going to take a photo here beautiful now just should zoom out just that little bit more what i'm trying to do here is just show that all the grass here just makes up that nice little culvert the first photo here i was just cutting out the front so i just want to move it a little bit further back and that's what you've got to think about think about how it's going to look all i had before was just like two little stumps on each side now i've got that nice little culvert here half a second beautiful but look, what have I done? I've just talked about rules of thirds, but I've lumbered this little island of grass right in the center. But I really feel that this shot here like this looks really nice. Before, when I put it in the center, it didn't look nice because there was nothing in the foreground to anchor my photo. Here, the foreground anchors it and sort of leads in because it's an arc, so it just pushes in. It's just beautiful. We've got the sun just coming over the horizon here. I can already see to this side over here on the right. The sun is just bathing all this area in just a beautiful warm glow. This is why I set myself here. These was practice shots. I'm just waiting for the light just to come in here and bathe this little island in beautiful morning glow and moi, we should have a great photo. So I'm just gonna wait a couple of minutes. That's all it's gonna take. You know the joy of photography? It is that we can change our mind. I said I was just going to wait for this golden light, but has the light start hitting the top of this little reedy island here? I looked and like I'm in the wrong spot. I've got to move. I want to be following the light, not having the side light because I've still got shade right in the front. So I quickly moved all my setup from where I was. The sun has just come over the tree line and it's just bathing this island. And I'm around 75 mils and it's just beautiful. I've got to make sure I don't blow out the highlights. One third of a second, still F11. We'll focus right on this reeds. Wow, look at it, it is just so nice. Can you see why I moved here? But look at the difference compared to the other photo that I'd taken before I moved. All I had was this island. Yes, there was no glow. It would have looked half nice with some glow. Now I've got this little reedy island here, just to the left of halfway, but right up towards the top right hand corner of the image, I've got another reedy island. I'm really, really happy with this. I've got a bit of ripples now because I can't keep the light down. Let's quickly put a six stop ND filter on. So I've put the six stop filter on. The breeze has come up a little bit now. We can see the reeds are moving. And at ISO 100, at F11, I'm on 
eight seconds. So let's take a photo at eight seconds. You can see just the top of the reeds here. They're just moving slightly because the wind is just on, off, on, off. It's just coming in short bursts. If I want to increase my shutter speed now, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go up to ISO 200. I still want that depth at field. I don't want to change from F11. Now I can come down to four seconds. Now I'll take another photo. Now if we zoom out and we look between the one four seconds, the one eight seconds, there's not much difference, but we can see there's just a little bit more movement in the water. But I'm very happy with this. I'm just looking at the sun. I'm just going to wait like a minute more just to get a bit more glow. And I think that's it. And you might be saying, what, well, have you tried a different composition? Well, when I moved, I did look and really, this is the best composition I can come up with. It's amazing sometimes you're saying, I've got what I wanted. I'm happy. I was really happy and now I'm even more excited. Sometimes you think you got the best shot and you're like, okay, I'm just going to show you what it would look like if I just moved a little bit. I moved a little bit and look at the framing here. Now I've gotten what I originally visualized, the island on the left hand side, one third in, and then I've got this other little tuft that's just coming out at the end here. So it's just framing my image beautifully. You're just looking, you're starting on the left and then you're looking to the right and you're like, beautiful. And then we've got the tree line just below the horizon over there. So I'm on the ISO 200, F11 at three seconds. Let's take a photo. Beautiful. I've not blown out the highlights. This is great. Now, if you wanted to do a bit of more artistic saying, okay, well, I want to blur the background here. You can reduce your f-stop. I wanted to see everything. So I've gone to F11. Now I know that my background over there won't be 100% sharp. I don't want it to be. I really want the foreground here and part of the midground. That's what I want in focus. So F11 gave me that. If I just wanted the island here, I could reduce my f-stop to, let's say, f5. And now I can increase my shutter speed. I can decrease my ISO. One second. F5, ISO 100. This should blur out my background a lot more. Now let's take a look. All we have now is just this little island here in sharp focus. The background is blurred out. I'm happy with this. This is it. And I've had a great morning here. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Stay safe. Enjoy your photography, whether it's wildlife, landscape or astro. And I'll see you next time.